All right, I got a new video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about the EOI bestsellers. This is the bestseller routine in Bookstore Manager, and this is a great feature that you should take advantage of. I kind of want to just discuss that in general today. All right, so we've got the bestseller screen here. I'm going to actually show you how to get here. Uh, so there's two ways you can type in EOI best. Or if you go through your database lookup, you can go into database and choose EOI bestsellers. So this screen is broken down. You can actually look at the bestsellers based off of books, Bibles, music, even gifts. Uh, in today's example, we're going to focus mainly on books. Um, so what I'm going to do is limit it to 100 books. And you can specify by category. So if I wanted to specify by category, I could check the little bubble for specify by category. But in this example, I'm going to just look up all books. All right, so we're going to click find books. And that's going to go in and find my top selling, uh, best selling books. And this is nation's best sellers. This is not just my best sellers. Um, so what this does is it goes in and color codes the top best selling 100 books and shows you what you're doing in your store. So if you look, anything in yellow means you don't have it in stock, but it's on the way. It's on order. Uh, if you have anything in white or clear, that means you have it in stock. You've got it. Everything's good to go. Uh, and then what you're really focusing on in this report are the red items because those are items that you're not carrying in your store. So those are the items you want to really look at, focus on, kind of see how those items have been doing. Um, if I choose the number one bestseller, if you look down here in the middle, it shows the rank has been number one for the last four weeks. Um, so you can actually go and look. Let's look at this red one here. If you notice, it's kind of worked its way up from 18, 17, 10, and now it's actually number six. So it just broke into the top 10 this week. Um, so this is just a, a way to analyze what you might can bring in. So instead of just bringing in random titles, you can bring in products that have a good chance of selling. Um, one example that I know uh, that one of our stores uses this for, if they're trying to meet a minimum requirement for a vendor, uh, let's say they have to get 15 to get a reduced freight or free freight, and they only have 13. Well, instead of bringing in two random titles, what they can do is come in and use this program, go in, find out some of the red titles in here, and bring those in to help them get to the minimum of 15. Um, so once you get to the 15, you can just come down here, choose Add TBO, or Add TBO, and that'll add it to be ordered and then it's real easy to pull those in your ordering screen. Um, so this is just a great utility to take advantage of. Um, also when you actually first go in and you're actually going into a purchase order, I'm just going to go in here, it'll actually come up with this screen and this screen is also pulling from that same information. So it's just a real quick snapshot to show you kind of what you're missing. So if you look, it says I'm missing a lot of the best selling books, Bibles, music. So uh, again, take advantage of this feature. Uh, to help out and make sure that you're carrying what is selling in this Christian industry. Thank you. Have a great day.